Welcome to Sage Audio. Today we're looking at how to stack compression. To get the most from your music, watch the entirety of each chapter for a complete understanding of the topic. But first, if you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Series versus Parallel Compression When we talk about stacking compression, we're mainly considering putting compressors in a series or using one compressor and then another back to back. When it comes to parallel compression, the signal is separated into a new track, which is compressed and then joined with the original signal. With that out of the way, let's listen to some stacked or series compression and then look at some techniques that you can use on your mixes or masters. And now I'm ready to start cause you make me Series Vocal Compression Vocals are a great instrument on which to use series compression. Typically, I find I'll use a little bit of two compressors for different purposes. For example, I could use a classic compressor with a quick attack and release to capture the vocal and control it quickly. Then I'd use an optical compressor to create a smooth sound with a longer release. So, the first one controls the vocal, but it keeps its detail, and the second is more for affecting the timbre and the feel of the vocal. Let's take a listen. And now I'm ready to start, cause you make me fly. Cause you make me bitter, bitter. You make me feel bitter, bitter. Am I ready falling, falling? You got me crazy, crazy. You make me. If you're enjoying the video, consider hitting the like button. It really helps us bring you more videos. Stacked Parallel Compression What's cool about modern compressors is that you can use them in parallel and series simultaneously. To do this, I'll place two compressors in my chain back to back to achieve series compression. And then I'll affect their wet dry or their mixed styles to achieve the parallel aspect. Let's try this with the vocal example that we just covered and play with the wet dry dials until we find a balance that we like. And now I'm ready to start cause you make me fly. Oh, cause you make me bitter, bitter. You make me feel bitter, bitter. I'm already falling, falling. You got me crazy, crazy. You make me. Stacking RMS, downward and upward. Stacked compression works well when we're using different types of compression, like RMS, peak or downward, and upward. RMS will compress downward from the waveform's average loudness, peak will compress downward using the waveform peaks for detection, and upward will increase the signal from the noise floor up. So we can control the signal from the peak of the waveform down, about the middle of the waveform down, and then from the quietest part up. Let's take a listen. Only a small percentage of people that watch our videos are subscribed, so if you're enjoying the video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Mid-side, then left-right compression. If we stack mid-side and then left-right compression, we can get some really interesting sounds. The mid-side compression will cause stereo expansion whenever the mid is compressed, but the side isn't, while left and right compression will cause a dynamic relationship between the two signals. To create more of a dynamic between the left and right, we'll delink the channels so that they can be treated independently. Let's take a listen to what this does on a mix bus. And now I'm ready to start cause you make me fly. Cause you make me bitter, bitter. You make me feel bitter, bitter. Am I already falling, falling? You got me crazy, crazy. EQ between two compressors. If we're using series compression, we can place an EQ between the two to either drive frequencies into the second compressor 
or pull them back a little so that certain frequencies aren't triggered as much. We can even place an extra EQ after the second compressor to compensate for the changes. This is called an emphasis de-emphasis technique, but we can use it in the context of series compression to first control the dynamics, then create a specific tone with the second compressor. Let's take a listen. And now I'm ready to start cause you make me If you'd like our custom plugin presets, audio samples, loops, download sheets, a members only badge next to your name in the comments, and more, consider joining with the link in the description. Back to back saturators. Similar to series compressors, we can use series saturators to both compress and distort the signal in two unique ways. For example, I could use a tape saturator to add soft knee compression, and then a tube saturator to create a different nonlinearity in addition to adding unique harmonics. This way we can combine compression and complex harmonic formations. Let's take a listen. And now I'm ready to start cause you make me fly. Cause you make me better, better. You make me feel better, better. I'm already falling, falling. You can be crazy, crazy. Combining distinct compressors. Some compressors have very distinct sounds like the 1176 or LA two-way. If we put these very recognizable compressors in series, we can combine their tones to create something new. For example, I could get some mild distortion and punch from the 1176 and then a thick sound from a retro tube emulation. There are more examples of this, but these are some of the more recognizable compressor sounds out there. Let's take a listen. If you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching.